you got a view to get. It's actually weird. That's third. <laughs> that is actually weird as hell. <laughs> I need to get used to these gear changes first. Yeah. What is going on peeps? It's your boy Ellis and we are driving a EP3 Type R today. Um, initially when I got offered to drive this car, I didn't really know what I wanted to do because obviously I can't really compare it to the Cupra because the Cupra is like somewhat more superior because the newer car, more power, etc. And obviously this car is a certain like older, there's like tons of review reviews on them online, tons of people have owned them and done like modifications and, and yes there might be a few videos of this as well about like the perfect track budget car. So I think for these cars you can get them for like between one and five K. Obviously the lower the lower end of that amount, obviously the, the worse the condition of the car. There's tons of like used parts in the market for these type of cars, so like if you even do get like a not one not one in not so much of a good condition you can spend like probably a few hundred pounds and get whatever you need to make them up to up to standard but something else that i haven't experienced is obviously vtech and i think like to be a certified petrol head you have to experience vtech there's certain things that you have to experience one being vtech one being an m3 and drifting and probably a five part so today's the vtech experience i haven't experienced i've been in vtech and the owners just like ragged it up here a bit and I've experienced it but I haven't done it myself so I'm kind of saving that moment for for a bit when I have a bit more like open space but for now I'm trying to just like get used to the car and I'll pull up in a bit and get some like exterior shots and all that stuff VTEC! <laughs> oh wow so what does someone that's looking for like a perfect 1 to 5k budget project car like one to do to it. So obviously this car comes a standards around around 200 horsepower and it is naturally aspirated so I would imagine that it's hard to get power out of it without like putting a turbo charger on it and whatnot and to get a turbo you're looking at around 2 to 3k because so many people have owned them before I'm sure you can find a used one that is in decent condition for around that price anyways. So you can get a decent turbo and then I'll put it probably around 300 brake and obviously suspension work and stuff like that with this car being so popular from Japan. So you have like loads of um, suspension with like anti-roll bars, sway bars and all that stuff that you can put on there to make the handling a lot better. And it would be good to like drive this car now and then see what the owner does doing like the next few, in the next year or so when he actually makes it into like the machine that he wants to make it in. And obviously it's really like track orientated just to compare the differences. But now it's just like a standard, um, I want to do VTEC again. Downshift. I want to manual so bad, I just love downshifting and blipping the throttle. Let's do a little walk around. I've not even shown you the car since I've got in it, so here we go. Okay, so the exterior of the car, we've got some 18 inch rotor grid alloys. Um, they do look nice. I think this is kind of like a, a Japanese look for Japanese cars. Yeah. I, feel, I see a lot of Japanese cars with these type of wheels and it's wrapped with Pilot Sport 4. So those are actually good rubber. Like I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about them. And around the back, we have got a Scorpio, Scorpion exhaust. Um, it isn't all the way through, but he's ha he has got all the, the necessary parts that's required for it to go all the way through at the moment. It's just the back box and this lovely Megan spoiler that really sets it off from a little got a little emblem right there around the front let's go around the front quickly we can see the little spoiler right there obviously these these modifications these cars are pretty common so you guys have probably seen this before yeah. we've got functioning bonnet vents and we've got like a little air scoop right there to feed co cold air inside to cool the car down meaning more power or more reliable power or whatnot that's my um bro knowledge right there yeah. and let's head inside quickly and i'll show you a few little unique touches that the owner's done um I'm pretty sure this is not standard. That does look nice. Um, Alcantara kind of. And he's got like an Android display screen right there that is brings it a bit more up to date. And obviously the Mugen shift knob that really does set it off nicely. So he's gonna pop the bonnet now. We can see what's under there. It says it's quite colorful, so I'm intrigued to see what it is. Boo. Hydro dip, someone was offering me that. That looks so sick. That pattern looks really nice. Is it like a, a reddish carbon fiber kind of thing? Yeah. That looks really nice. 
and right there. So now that the bun is open, you can see the scoop right there and it goes straight into the filter. That looks really sick. Wow, that's actually a unique feature that is. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so a few other things that you can't see that's actually done to the car is actually just put recently put LSD in. Um, obviously, I've never driven one without LSD, so I can't really tell the I can't really tell the difference between them. But through that little blast that I was just in on the car, it does feel it does feel alright. It wasn't like one wheel is like on like going to the left or whatnot. It, it felt alright, but obviously I haven't really thrashed it enough. I haven't put took it on track, but so far, as I said, I can't really tell the difference because I haven't driven one without one. Um, but you said you haven't driven it in a decent condition enough to really say yeah. but it does grip up because these cars do not have let's, let's show you the car a bit these cars do not have um, traction control right so obviously without LSD it pro probably just one wheel just keeps spinning yeah, and obviously now with the LSD then both of them like they'll it will grip a lot faster that's the bro knowledge right there I don't really know much about cars but I've got the, the basic bro knowledge that's required for me to be qualified as a petrol head For some reason I still think there's a few things that I haven't really like spoke about. As I was saying, this is one of like the perfect like budget um, project car, like it's so accessible and obviously the mods are relatively, the parts are relatively cheap because they're so common and obviously it's a Japanese car, there's like loads of manufacturers that make, make parts for it. But so far, let's say two and a half grand, considering you got a car for a grand, it's been around a grand and a half so far and there's a bit more to be done um so when that's finished you'd like to see the total cost and like yeah. obviously get it back on the channel it's probably going to be like i'm going to put it out it's going to be like 300 break hopefully, yeah hopefully. <laughs> you're going to be around 300 break or close to that and then we'll get to experience it experience it again and then you'll see my reaction and transformation and all that fun stuff so before i go ahead and take this car for the last drive i was going to say it's always been a car that i've like contemplated getting even when i was about to get my vxr for the first time it was one of those like first cars i wanted a hot hatch i wanted something quick so it was one of those like first should i get this for my first car but the gear shifter was something i really did not like that was a main, main turn off for me but i was driving it it's, it takes getting used to you because I've, I've slightly i've been missing the bloody shift number a few times um and then the second time around, like a few months back when I was like, I'm going to get something cheaper and money up. This was another one of the considerations, as well as the E46. And so obviously it's just nice to get a chance to drive like these cars, just experience them. Because I'm saying to be a certified petrol head, you kind of have to experience VTEC. So I'm getting that box ticked off experience VTEC. And yeah, so I'm going to strap the GoPro on and go for a drive. I don't think I'm going to say anything else. So I'll just leave you with the GoPro footage. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think would be a perfect one to 5k budget track car if you had that sort of budget and leave it in the comments below. And hopefully maybe I can probably get like a series go with like one to 5k track cars. They'll probably get like the Clio 197, Clio 182. Just get like a few of those like little more like affordable kind of, I don't know if that would happen, but I'm just saying that would be like something sick to do. It's probably already been done before, but just for my satisfaction and my experience. But I'll stop talking. Smash that subscribe button, like the video, do all that fun stuff, and we will go for a last drive in this VTEC Beast. <laughs> when it opens up, it sounds lovely. I can say I'm driving fast because there's a car in front of me that I'm not passing. Yeah. <laughs> so, cars are you driving crazy? Mm -hmm.